Hi, ladies. Um, we just want to welcome you to this two weeks of uh, reset. We're so excited to have you girls uh, join us. Um, so a couple things that we're going to talk about is uh, meal prepping. Um, I just want to let you know, uh, for, like realistically, I've talked to some of you ladies about um, you guys go grocery shopping, you buy a bunch of fruits and vegetables, and then, you know, Sunday or Saturday, and then come Friday, it's all molded. Like you didn't use it, you didn't cook it. And I get that. Like I've been there, done that. What I can tell you ladies is that doesn't work for me. I, there's a, we're a size uh, seven family. So I cannot buy for seven people, three meals a day and pack it in my fridge. It's just not going to happen. And I had to learn that the hard way. So I meal prep Sunday night and Wednesday night. And just some basic things I do is hard boiled eggs, um, cucumbers, hummus. Those are my easy to go to steel cut oats, um, apples. Those are like essentials in my home, uh, milk. And I'm trying to think what else. And yeah, so those are the things I, I prep. So even if like, you know, cause there are going to be those mornings that you wake up late and you're like in a rush, I grab hard boiled egg, an apple, you know, and that's like my breakfast or still cut oats. And I just put them in a container and vamanos. So I just want to encourage you ladies with that, um, that meal prepping does not look the same for everybody. Um, I don't eat like Carmen Post. I don't eat chicken and hard boiled eggs and two almonds every single day. That doesn't happen. Um, so my meal prep, it looks different from Carmen's and that's okay because we're both at different um, places in our lives and different family size, different age kids. I have teenagers. My son needs more protein than, you know, my sweet seven-year-old little girl. Um, and so, and then with my husband now on board, you better believe Sunday and Wednesday nights are the, the days. Another thing is um, don't try to pick like five new recipes for dinner, you know, um, pick and choose something that your family likes. I um, include my family in meal prepping. I ask them, what do they want to eat? What don't they like? That kind of thing. And then I tweak it and I add vegetables or uh, whatever I can to make it healthier. You know, we do um, jasmine rice instead of whole, uh, you know, white grain rice, you know, those kinds of things. I just change it up a little. Um, another thing is when I serve the food, they helped me pick it and they helped me, they were involved in it. So they can't really tell me, uh, I don't want to eat that because then I just show them our meal prep and I said, you decided and you were part of this. And so this is what we're eating. And so that has been really good. And then I just walk away and you know what, lo and behold, they eat food cause you know, they're hungry. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, another thing is, um, use what you have at home. Don't go and spend $200 for one week of groceries. I mean, if, I mean, if that's in your budget and you do that and you can, you, I mean, I don't know, but me personally, I can't do that. So I look and see what I have in my refrigerator and in my pantry, what I need, what I don't need. Um, and I go from there, you know, and, you know, make ideas from there. So if I have um, chicken leftover from last week, I'm going to make uh, roll tacos for the kids or, um, or chicken tacos or chicken salad, you know, those kinds of things I look and see. So, oh, okay, I only need to buy some lettuce, some tomato, and that's it because I have, you know, Greek yogurt. That's what I use for sour cream in the house, you know, those kinds of things. So that's just my advice. So you're not spending a bunch of money. You're not overwhelmed. Just do Monday through Friday. Um, and yeah, um, know your action plan, tweak your, your things, um, and just include your family if you can. Uh, they might not want to be part of it at first because it is an adjustment, which is fine. You know, this is your journey. And as you begin to take your journey, they will see the difference and want to join you. And so um, it's taken some time in my home, but my kids, you know, they're on it. Um, just an example, I served some burritos with cucumbers and my girls ate their cucumbers. They asked for some apple because I was cutting an apple. And then they had half of their bean and cheese burrito, you know, and then they saved it. They rather, they see, and they're just used to it. If I have it cut up, I have it ready, they're going to eat it. And so, yeah, I just want to encourage you ladies with that. Another thing is we're going to post the link um, for you to take some pictures, some measurements. It's very important. Um, I mentioned this before. Um, I personally wish I would have been more disciplined on taking my pictures um, and measurements just to see where you're coming from because 
uh, the weight scale is like so discouraging. You know, you stand on there. I mean, I can stand on there after I drink like 32 ounces of water. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, or whatever, like my whole thing of water, or I just ate dinner. That's not the best time to weigh yourself. Um, I personally don't weigh myself. I take pictures. I measure myself um, only because I do, I work out and I eat good because I feel good and I want to be healthy and I want to have energy. Um, whatever your goals are, we're going to respect them, but I just want to give you that piece of advice because it will become discouraging because the scale fluctuates up and down. And so, yeah. Um, oh yeah. And I didn't even, I said I had five kids, but I have a husband. My kids are ages uh, six. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, nine. <laughs> it's so many of them. Um, 13, uh, 14 and 16. So yeah, here's Carmen and she's going to give you some details and some dates. All right, ladies. So we are just going to throw it all at you and just give you everything in a nutshell. And we are going to uh, allow you the, uh, the opportunity through the, this weekend to watch this video and take notes, do whatever it is that you have to do, because we really, really, really want to set you up for success. And everything that we share with you is solely so that you can be successful in your uh, personal journey. So um, do not let anything overwhelm you by any means. And before I get into any further information, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Um, so I am Carmen, in case you don't know who I am. And um, I have really purposed in my life to help women overcome uh, emotional eating and stop obsessing over food so they can be present in life with family and friends. And um, I have found for this to be the heartbeat of how this happens, these types of groups. Um, and so I'm just so excited and we are both so honored that you are here and allowing us the opportunity to give you uh, a taste of what that looks like and how our lives have dramatically changed. My husband and I are going on seven years of marriage. I have been doing this coaching thing uh, for two and a half years and just last month my husband said, I want in. Um, I want to do what you're doing. I want to eat the way that you're eating. Um, not that he wasn't, not that they weren't already eating what I had to offer, but it was definitely with a lot more grumbling and complaining as Ruby <laughs> shared. Um, and so um, it's just so different when your spouse is kind of, is the one thing, yep, let's do this because everything changes. It's like, oh, what's daddy eating? Oh, Brussels sprouts? Oh, I want to try that. It's like, oh, I've been eating those for the last two years. <laughs> What's so big about that? I mean, he's a huge girl, but um, so anyways, so yes, my husband and I have been married for almost seven years in December, and we have three boys together. I was actually a previously single mom, uh, so that my son, my oldest son is nine, and then I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old, so um, life is different. Life is busy. Um, I don't have a bunch of little kids all at one time. I have a lot of one-on-one -on -one with each one of my children. Um, and so that changes the dynamics and how I am able to prep looks a lot different than how maybe you are able to prep. Um, I have worked outside of the home. I'm no longer working outside of the home. I get to work inside of the home now and that has its own challenges, trust me. Um, uh, and then especially if you do what you love, it's really hard to separate work from home. So um, anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit about myself with you. Um, th this particular group, we have it uh, planned and laid out um, so that it can be, give each of you enough time um, to really get prepared. Caleb, I'm so sorry, you guys. Caleb, you need to turn that down. Turn this down, please. Um, he's, <laughs> I told him to watch the show in the room, and he wanted to watch it out here, but because I'm talking, it's too loud. Um, mom life. <laughs> uh, so. Reset is going to be, this next week we are going to uh, introduce ourselves over the weekend, and then next week we are going to uh, spend each day focusing on one item that you can get ready for. So it's what's called Reset Prep Week. Um, so that's Monday, October 30th through Sunday, November 5th. And then Monday, November 5th is going to be like, let's do this, it's Reset Week. You have the opportunity to um, have meal plans provided to you. Um, we will be sharing those with you soon. Uh, you have meal plans provided to you. You have, um, <coughs> excuse me, the opportunity to work out. We are providing with you, providing for you um, workouts where we will all be doing the same workout every single day. It's really, really neat. It actually sounds weird, but to be able to do something from the comfort of your own home 
Um, and then be able to say, oh, my legs hurt. Oh, my arms hurt. Oh, my gosh, those sumo spots or whatever. Um, and it is for all seasons of life. So don't feel like, um, I've never done this before. I can't start doing it. Trust right. me, you can't. We saw a gal. Uh, we are just amazed with her improvement in like a week. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, you know, she had an exercise in a while and she just picked up and she just ran with it. Right. And it's just been so amazing to be able to see. So I promise you, you can do it. And if you need to march in place for that whole workout, march in place for that whole workout. That okay. was so much more than you did before. So uh, we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate victories. Um, <laughs> I am so sorry. Um, so we'll be doing that throughout that whole week. So that's November 6th through November 12th. And then we'll have a closing week, and that's November 13th through 17th, an opportunity for you to ask any questions, concerns, um, and then, of course, give you more information about our ongoing group if that's something that you would like to uh, continue on with. So that's the group in a nutshell, and that's what we have to offer. One of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about and take a moment to share with you about is the use of Shakeology. Um, I know that at, at the beginning, especially when I would hear it, I would cringe. I'd kind of like get a little turned off. Um, and I didn't want to become a coach because I didn't want to have to be the sales lady. Um, and so I have learned that I'm sharing. I'm sharing with you what has worked for me. Um, and the reason it has worked for me is because I am a huge person. Anybody who knows me knows that I do research before I decide on anything. And I did a lot of research. I was making my own smoothies every single day, uh, having to prep everything or buy fruits and fruits and veggies. And, um, I am not, I would not have been able, like when I compared the two, there was no way I was able to even come close to what Shakeology had to offer. Um, everything comes from its place of origin. For instance, if there's vanilla in it, it comes from Madagascar, goji berries, every, uh, you know, all those camu camu, all these exotic fruits and vegetables that I wouldn't be able to get. And if I tried to get them here in California, um, they are definitely not non-GMO. Um, I don't care what the label says. It's just not. Uh, so I did a lot of research and found that uh, Shakeology, uh, they uh, make sure that everything is tested for pesticides, herbicides, uh, metals, and um, not only when it's in its powder form, but also once it's made to make sure that it still is really what they say that it is. So they don't pay for non-GMO labels. They don't pay for organic certified, and that is on purpose. Um, they do that because they say it is authentic. And um, we don't need to pay for a label because paying for a label sometimes doesn't mean that that's, it is what it says that it is. So um, I just wanted to take a moment and share with you how it has helped for us personally. Uh, the biggest and most important thing is we are busy. Um, and I hate to use the word busy because we do need to be mindful of we are blessed with the opportunity to serve our family and our friends. But with that means that a lot of times, especially for us as moms, is we don't eat. Um, I can't tell you the number of days I'm like about to run out and I can quickly grab my shake. And then I have over 70 superfoods and 20 plus vitamins in my belly just like that. And I'm able to function and respond so much better than I would have if I didn't have that shake. Because um, hangry, hello, uh, I don't know about you, but I get kind of crazy. Um, so the shake has really helped me with that. It has helped with mood. It has helped with focus. It has helped, it's helped uh, with energy uh, like no other. And then one of the biggest, most important things, uh, especially for somebody trying to overcome uh, being an emotional eater or having a food addiction is cravings. Uh, for my husband, personally, um, that I have found for him, he's, he has, his goal is from now until August of next year is to have 60 pounds off. And he knows that he can do this with dedication, with devotion, and with will. You know, the will to overcome this. And he knows that he needs that shake every single day to start it. Um, and it's just so amazing to be able to tell the difference between your day with and your day without. So, oh, yeah. I just wanted to share that with you and let you know that you have the opportunity to try it for yourself. There's a seven day sampler specifically for this week that we are offering, and um, it is about the same price that we would pay for it. So, it's really just offered to you at cost uh, just to get you trying it and see what works. There's vegan and then there's a uh, dairy free option, or I'm sorry, there's a. Um, vegan and non-vegan option for you. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys each know that that is an option available to you. We don't ever limit what we are going to offer to you. Um, we, we're going to give you the commitment and the devotion that you give yourself. So we are here for you and we are not giving up on you. So don't give up on yourselves. Um, and if you need to start over every single day, start over every day. <laughs>
it's fine. Um, I just, I'm, I can't wait. I know that Ruby shared a little bit about meal prepping and I want to go into that a little bit further, but I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to wait. We're going to dig into it a little bit more, um, tomorrow. So for now, what I need for you is to share, uh, who you are, introduce yourself in comments below. And, um, why are you here? What, what are you hoping uh, to achieve from this? So share, um, three goals and who and why you're here. Um, so we are so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. And, and please, uh, have this completed by, uh, day's end on Sunday. Uh, that would be, uh, the 30th. No, October 29th, Sunday, October 29th. <laughs> right. If, if we haven't shown you that we're any more human than you, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. We love you so much. Bye-bye.